and family held a fundraiser for a man injured during a police chase in Coral Gables. Officers say burglary suspects trying to make their getaway crashed into that victim. CBS 4's Lauren Pastrana spoke with the man's wife about his recovery. Happy birthday to you. Cake, balloons, and a room full of family and friends. Everything you need for a birthday celebration. Only this time, the guest of honor is noticeably absent. This Friday will be four weeks that he's been in the hospital. Peter Blanco spent his 44th birthday at Jackson Memorial Hospital recovering from injuries sustained in this crash last month. Police say these three burglary suspects were running from the cops in Coral Gables when they collided with Blanco. I got a call and someone said, are you the wife of Peter A. Blanco? And I said, yeah, they are a little strange. And she said, I'm sorry to tell you, but your husband has been involved in an accident and he's in surgery. The self-employed father with another baby on the way has been unable to work, but his loved ones have pitched in. I just you feel very loved and very um, taken care of. And that makes even the, the bad days a lot easier. On Wednesday, 20% of the sales at Giardino restaurant in Coral Gables were donated to Pete Blanco's recovery fund. Members of the Coral Gables Fire Department also chipped in. Thank you for saving my dad's life. Pete Blanco didn't blow out his own candles, but he still made a wish. I would think his biggest wish is to be, to be with his family. And in the spirit of the season, Yvette Blanco holds no ill will toward the people responsible for her husband's pain. I'm not angry at them. I wish, you know, and it sounds very odd, but I wish they could see what the choices that they make, who they affect. So far, Pete Blanco's GoFundMe page has raised about $20,000. If you'd like to donate to the Blanco family, we've got all the information up on our website, cbsmiami.com. Live at Jackson Memorial Hospital, Lauren Pastrana, CBS 4 News, tonight.